If you want a tutorial on what celebrities are doing, this is what you want to hear. Everything was too much, the pressure is too high. and What goes on in the real lives of celebrities? Behind the fame. Hollywire is bringing you behind the fame. Hollywire, what's <laughs> up? We got Thomas <laughs> Barbuska here mm, in the studio on Hollywire. Behind the fame. Behind the fame. Behind the famous person. Yeah. Um, let's do six second challenge. Six second challenge. Uh -oh. buzzer. We need the buzzer. The rules are you have six seconds to get the 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 questions, the answers in, and it starts with this, and it'll also end with this. Did you get oh, that? God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's very high pressure here. Yeah, very yeah, high yeah, pressure yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Six seconds. Here we go. <clears throat> Two shows you've binge watched. Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, How I Met Your Mother. Such a classic actor. <laughs> Response. <laughs> okay. What do you like? Because you, do you think you learn? For, or are they just entertaining to you? Yeah. Do you uh, study the How I Met Your Mother is like one of the most well-crafted sitcoms ever. Totally. Okay. And Curb Your Enthusiasm is just the best show on TV right now. And, you know, for the last 10 years. Uh, and I just love that show. And Larry David. And Larry David. Those. Two role models. Oh, geez. Um, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and failed. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> one for That's one. That's a tough one. I get that. I literally thought you might say you're two co-stars, and I was hoping you wouldn't. So that's good. That's out. <laughs> I was, I'm just scared to one. say anybody. <laughs> one for one. Oh, okay. <laughs> two, <laughs> two favorite dog breeds. Oh my God, Pomeranian and Husky, and them mixed. I love that. That was like <laughs> no questions why, asked. Why was that so quick? Um, because I thought of Pomsky originally, and I said, let me separate them. <laughs> Pomeranian, Husky. Do you have a dog? I do. I have a multi poo. Oh. Ah. Does your sister have a dog? It, we share the dog. Share it's the a dog. family sister? dog. Sister. His sister's also oh an actress. My God. Yes. She's also an actress. I knew you look familiar. The cameras yeah. can't see it. But no, I really did, though. I was like, why do I know her? There's sisters uh, and brothers here. That's sisters awesome. Sisters and brothers. We love a sister-brother combo. Okay. Nah. Um, <clears throat> two of your favorite places to shop. Oh. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know. I can't. No? I can't give Convert? you a place. I don't shop. You don't? I don't. I'm not a shopper. Okay. Yeah. Dude, what's up, man? So this guy, do you live in Los Angeles now or do you live in New York? Cause I live in LA. You live in LA? I live in New York. I, I, I've lived here uh, basically most of my life, but I grew up a little bit in New Jersey. In New Jersey. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's all right. It's not too bad. Do you like living out here? I love living out here. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't realize how much I lived or how much I loved living out here until I left here for a little while. Oh, yeah. I've been in Portland shooting, which is a great city. Right. But then it really makes you miss L.A. and the sunny yeah. weather and, you know, great food. <laughs> We're uh, so spoiled here. Oh, I know. LA. We have no idea how good we have it. Yes, we it's are very awesome. spoiled people out here. <laughs> so We're the worst. <laughs> We're so the you, worst. Let's just give some, 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 some background. You were on a show that I love, The Mick. Yes, This you. guy is so funny. Thank and you. And you're such a character, like, <laughs> on that show. Thank I know, you. you know this is, we're going to the past, though, but mm -hmm. there's some fans out there that probably still are obsessed with that show. Totally. Mm -hmm. Right? You, yeah. you still get some, like, fan mail, fan, oh, fan yeah. DMs, fan Ooh, counts. A bunch of DMs for the Mick. Um, bunch, of, bunch of fan art from the Mick. People love it. And every every time I go outside, they're like, oh, I'm so pissed it was canceled. So, yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. Bigger and better things. Bigger in the and better future. things. Like big time adolescence. <laughs> wow, that was a really good segue. That was, that was so good. good. Sorry if you weren't ready to go there, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like itchy. That was a good. I've opportunity. been trying to. I'm trying to hype up my boy. <laughs> my boy Thomas here, <laughs> and you're like really just going into what you know. She wants to talk. She here. wants to talk about big time. She right. saw her opportunity. She took it. Okay. I took it. Here's what's really cool though. Mm -hmm. So Thomas was in here. Uh, this was almost a year ago. Over. Over a year ago. Yeah. And I was like, mm -hmm. so what are you working on? And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm doing a movie with Pete Davidson and Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of cool. Right. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And Two you were like dudes. 16 or 15 I was, even. I was 15. 15. 15. I was 15. Crazy. 17 now. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, weird. Yeah, because you were, you were definitely, you were like maybe in your phone too a little bit. I was trying to get your attention. You're doing like the, you know, I'm in my phone, I'm 15. I'm checking my Instagram. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta reply to all of these emails and these <laughs> yeah. texts. And I was like, who are you texting? Uh, we were in a cast group chat with our director and everybody. It was, was super fun. Texting Machine Gun Kelly. Casual. Yeah, texting all of them. Isn't that awesome? Great. That is awesome. I have the biggest crush on Pete Davidson, so. Oh. Like everybody. I wish like, does every, it, I feel like that's not true, though. You either love Pete Davidson or you just don't, I mean. Love I him. Like he's the best. He's the best. What's not to like? 
He's yeah. great. You kind of remind me of him a little. Thank you. <laughs> and your personalities, like the way I think your comedic delivery. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. It's very nice of you. It's yeah. a compliment. It's awesome. <laughs> Tell us about the movie because I, yeah. obviously I haven't seen it. I'm going to go see it. Right, right after we talk. Right. <laughs> okay. well, tell me about it. What's um, it it's basically about uh, a teenager who's under the influence of his destructive best friend who's yeah. 23 <laughs> uh, and who's like an aimless, uh, aimless college dropout uh, and, you know, an awful influence. And it's kind of the trials and tribulations of that. Uh, and it's a really real coming of age story. Um, I think that's why we all love it so much. Uh, at least a part of why we love it so much is because it's like the first coming of age movie yeah. where you know it's actually real and people can relate to it it's like you know not a 16 year old kid driving around like a mercedes benz totally you know yeah. and getting the girl of his dreams and mm -hmm. you know having a super happy ending it's just not like that it's just a very real story totally talk about your character are yeah. you like him how are you not like him uh i play a kid named will stacy who's uh just awful uh <laughs> disgusting terrible do you like relate Tony? to that at all uh, <laughs> a little bit uh, a little bit no, i can tell you got a little troublemaker in you but just a totally little fun. baby a little troublemaker you're gonna grow out of it just a little bit <laughs> <You're gonna> <laughs> <grow> <laughs> i have some take angst. it from tony you yeah. will grow out of it i have a have little fun while you can. yeah uh i play a kid named will stacy uh he's known by everybody respected by nobody uh you know he's how do I put this? I mean, we, we on set we called the character a towel. He's a towel. He's the worst. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just it's, it's just like a word. wet towel. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> um, and, and it's a really great role. I'm glad I got to do it. Uh, originally, I hadn't auditioned for uh, Stacy. I had auditioned for Mo Griffin Gluck's part, mm -hmm. and just over time, you know, it just didn't work out. And they're like, "No, trust me, you'd be better as this kid." And they were right. We did. I did the other role, uh, which was this awful human being, <laughs> and uh, it worked out really well. That's, that's cool because awesome. you're like part of an. There's a cast here, mm -hmm. uh, and that's cool because then you guys all are like. It, that's what it's like making a movie. It's like you guys are putting this together together. Kind of as you and go. You're, like, you're yeah. gonna play point guard. You're gonna play. So center. this is that's exactly how I explain acting. Is I I. I Compared to basketball, it's essentially the same Look thing. Look at that. Just like the business in general and sets and all that, you know, it, it's essentially the same thing. And going into it, um, when I was auditioning for the other role, um, you know, I didn't know my role. You know, every actor and every person in the movie has their role on the team, you know, and, mm -hmm. and you know, Griffin Gluck, he's our point guard who's dishing out assists to Pete Davidson, who's, uh, you know, scoring 30 points a game. And everybody else who's so great in it, and our head coach, you know, Jason Orley, you know, who's head like, coach is the director. Head coach is the director. Woo! Who's, uh, you know, you following this? Yeah. I'm making sure. Okay. Orchestrating a, a, an amazing offense, and you know, I'm the sixth man who comes in and does my part, and you know, hopefully leaves an impact. What position yeah. do you think uh, Machine Gun Kelly would? Be? Yeah, where is he in Where's this? He oh man, he's he's our power forward. Power forward. He's our power <laughs> forward. <laughs> He's the guy who's blocking the shots, getting the rebounds. Did you tell him I said hi? No. Okay, cool. No. <laughs> Not even close. He's from Ohio, so I have like a- Are you from a, Ohio? I'm from Ohio, so oh, we have an Ohio. Amazing. Moment. We're at in Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I've interviewed him too, you know. Yeah, like, you should have said, said something. I'm so Columbus. sorry. You I like keep kicking your table. Ohio. I'm all over right. the place. What, what, I should have said what, hi. What, is your, what was your first impression like when you <laughs> met him? Because he is like- uh, he's awesome, dude. Yeah, he's cool. He's the nicest dude. You know, we just I came on set. He was like, "What's up?" I'm Colson. I was like, "Hey, I'm Thomas." <laughs> that was it. That was uh, it. Yeah, I, I the, my first day on set, you know, I walked into you know everybody doing a scene together. It was Griffin, uh, Pete, and and Colson, and uh, I think Jordan Rock. They were all doing a scene together, and I came and just introduced myself and just stayed for the rest of the. Day. I, I don't even think I had been working that day, and I just came in and wanted to see them do their thing. Yeah. Love that. And I was very surprised. On, uh, you know, I hadn't seen Colson in anything. And then when I was watching him on set, I was like, oh, my God, he's a great actor. He's a really good actor. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. For sure. Um, and, and Pete, too. You know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, obviously, I knew who he was. He's a really right. funny dude. I had no idea he was such a great actor as well. It's like, wow, he's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and same with everybody else. Everybody did such a good job. Get so proud of it when I watch it. Did you give Pete a handshake, a hug? <laughs> 
or fist pump? What was it? Do you remember? Uh, hold on. Let me go back to two years ago. Give me one, <laughs> give me one second. Uh, I think it was a bro hug. I think the, it was mostly bro the, hugs. They love this. They want to know. What, I think do, it was just a hugger? dap. Just a dap. Everybody was a dap. Da- a dap? Uh, just a dap. You dap somebody Like up. you like. like girl, well, we girls did. don't Dana do that. Dap, dap. We'll give Dana Dan, Dan needs a dap. A dap. Boom. Boom. I like handled that pretty pro. Well, you did a very good job <laughs> for your first time. That was dap. really good. For your I'm first start, dap, that I'm was just amazing. I'm start dapping everyone up that I interview. I'm like, they're gonna be like, "What's up?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Dap right? them up. Be like, "Hey, what's up? That. Nice to meet you." I think yeah. That's be- it. Are you a networking guy? Do you like to go and schmooze, or are you just like yeah. you're, you're okay? You go network. I'm a networking guy, but not on purpose. No, I'm natural, just yeah. I talk to everybody. People want to hang out with you. Yeah, I love talking. Uh, I talk a lot. And, and people, uh, some people like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a networker by nature. That's awesome. <laughs> I really see stand-up comedy in your future, Thomas. Thank you. We were trying to figure out all the things. You came in earlier and I was like, because he's only 17. I know. You have a lot ahead of you. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I was like, well, are you like, do you have your own clothing brand yet? No. Are you on That's TikTok? That's something I would want to do. Definitely not TikTok. Do you have a mix track? Uh, uh, no mixtape, no clothing line. Eventually, I want to do a clothing line. I have a whole list of stuff written down of stuff that I want to do. I want to own the Knicks um, really bad. What? Yeah, I don't know why. I just Like the own, basketball team? Yeah, the basketball team. Why uh, the basketball going on? I don't on? know. <laughs> I just want to do it. I want to do that. I want to have cool. like my own signature converse. Uh, there's a lot I want to do. It's there. Um, and then I want to write and direct and you know produce and all that stuff too. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you that you have the e-boy hairstyle? You do now. You yeah. Do I, know. <laughs> I started Here it. Here she goes. I started it and they took it I and turned that. it into this cringy thing. Right? I it really hate it. It is cringy. Yeah. It's so cringy. It's cringe. That looks uh, good though. Looks thank you. No, yeah, I started you it. I had it when I was here last time. I think. Maybe. Kind of. I don't think kind of. It was, it was almost there. Does anyone else ever say that to you? And you're like. Yeah. T- two people this week. Sure. Your parents put you in acting or how did you get it at three? Did so you- my sister, uh, this lovely lady sitting over here, <laughs> um, she, she started before me and uh, she's really good at it. And she was, she, you know, at the time was, was working before me and uh, she was on a show called The Starter Wife and that was a really fun show. And, uh, um, she, you know, she works a lot and I was like jealous. <laughs> I was like, hey, I want to do that. Yeah. Uh, and I did it. When I was four, hated it uh, for no reason. Just like, you know, we were living in Jersey, so we would have to drive to New York for auditions. Yeah. And that to me was so dreadful. That's awful. Awful. That is bad. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to drive, even though I was, you know, in a, you know, a baby chair <laughs> in the car. Right. Uh, you know, I didn't want to do the drive, so I'd stay home with my dad while they went out and, you know, auditioned and uh, eventually over a couple of years. I think it was like two years later. <laughs> I was like, hey, I want to do this again. They're like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, all right, because we don't want you to do it if you don't want to do it. I was like, no, I want to do it. I'm like, okay, parents. cool. Yeah, great parents. Yeah. Um, and I did it, and it wasn't up until um, Wet Hot American Summer that I like really loved it, and I really wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, I was just, you know, nine years old, like having fun working on sets and meeting cool people. Right. And then uh, it, when Wet Hot came out and eventually did that i was like oh i love this i want to do this for the rest of my life totally. you know this might change <laughs> that that opinion might change over the year but uh over the years but you know i want to keep doing this very cool now do you work do you, you and your sister ever talk about like doing a, uh, a show or even writing something together or does she help you out with auditions do you help her out with auditions both, both both so she'll help me out with auditions i'll help her out with auditions because um i i believe that you always need another person you know as a second opinion for everything totally and uh you know i trust her the most out of anybody else i know and uh you know even when i come like i right now i'm trying to work on writing and you know i want her to to be a part of it and and, and help me because she's way funnier than i am <laughs> so. i love that they say into. that you're either like a comedic actor or you're dramatic right they mm-hmm. like kind of put you in that box yeah You've it's, done a lot it's of comedy. So stupid. It's, it's a bad, bad box. Right? It, it's a, I it's feel a terrible like, box. Well, that's what I'm saying. You've done a lot of comedy, but right. you can obviously do drama as well. Do yeah. you want to kind of venture off more into one dra- genre as you grow? Um, no, I don't want to. I don't want to limit myself to anything. I want to yeah. do it all. Um, you know, like not many people know how funny guys like you know James Gandolfini were, and how mm-hmm. funny guys like John Hamm mm-hmm. is. Like he just did. 
curb your enthusiasm and he's hilarious on curb and uh you know i feel like i'm the same way people think i'm a really funny actor which is awesome yeah but you know i want them to see that i'm able to do drama and i'm i can do you know italian mob movies italian <laughs> mob movies and i can be the next robert de niro yes. <laughs> i want to say that so is your town is your family like because this is a tense last name Barbuska. like is mom and dad like are they just at home cooking spaghetti or what's going on? <laughs> They're doing their thing. Dad's dad's, you know, putting a roof over our heads and Aww. you know, uh he's working, work working his yep. ass off and doing what he's gotta do. But are they as Italian as you? I feel like they're, they're way more Italian. Yeah, what? The oh way my! You never know. know. He might have popped out a kid who's just like, "Where did we find him?" My <laughs> dad is a 280-pound man in muscle. No way. Yeah, full blown muscle. Muscle, Brooklyn Italian Brooklyn. monster. Wow! But the sweetest man. <laughs> but he's like he's a he's a hunk. Yeah. He's uh. That's so funny. He's the man. <laughs> I bet your sister is always scared to bring boyfriends home, right? Oh Any yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Our whole. Family. I just had to say that because if that, oh, like, yeah. my dad's no, 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 gonna no. go to like, yeah, I know yeah. where you're going with this, Jay. I know exactly <laughs> where you're going. With. <laughs> saying, um, like, yeah, no, our. Uh, you know, I think we're all scared to bring somebody home. Yeah, you're afraid to <laughs> bring my anybody mom, home, Thomas. My mom might get into a fight with one of the oh, yeah. w- one of my girlfriends, maybe. <laughs> what, what about your sister and your girlfriends? Because I feel like I always have to have a girlfriend mm-hmm. that would my sister's gonna love. Totally. I'm the same way because I th- I think me and my sister both have really good opinions on things yeah. and people and 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 everything else. Um, I don't like to. I don't even like to mix my friends with people that. I would be My seeing thing. though. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, I I just don't like to mix it at all. To me, it's so awkward. I'm so weird when it comes to, mm-hmm. you know, seeing people, mm-hmm. and like I'm just like not one of the one of those kids that is like always like on the prowl right. to meet a new girl. Like I'm just if it happens, just it living. happens. Yeah, it right. doesn't. Just like, living whatever. life. Right. Yeah. It's, I feel like you have a close relationship with your sister because she's obviously here. So yeah. I think that that's kind of that's really cool mm-hmm. that you can bounce relationship ideas with or you could yeah, yeah yeah and it's also she could see right through totally everybody, everybody and and i could see through a lot of people so like you know when she likes a guy she's like your thoughts and he can either be the best dude or the or worst yeah. person ever that's uh, gonna keep you in check uh, totally. oh yeah like that's gonna w- totally vibe for check, sure family vibe check, check. <laughs> vibe check. <laughs> and also family also check. that's family a really check. great <laughs> part of growing up is having yeah. an older sister yeah and her being in relationships to like where I know how to learn. act when yeah. I get older, you know, mm-hmm. it, it, you learn a lot. It's awesome. When my sister and I aren't close, mm-hmm. it means I'm like probably getting into some trouble. Oh gosh, <laughs> just being yeah. honest. I mean, that, yeah. so I, I need to get on that check, the yeah. vibe check, you know, You're yeah, playing. vibe check in, family check, sound Family check, check. In. check in, all the checks, all the checks. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I kind <laughs> of relate to you guys. My siblings are a lot older than me though, so it's a little different, but. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. yeah, it's good though to have at least someone that keeps you in check. Oh, for sure. Especially in this always, industry, you can't always go to your parents. No, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. You can ask yeah. them anything, <laughs> but it, uh, sometimes a sibling's advice can be better than a. Than well, a they're going to be advice. with you until the end, and you all, like you yeah, said, right. they see through everything. Yeah, yeah totally. Right. So exactly. You see, I'm doing a little tucking action. A little tucking action. A little tucking. This is a good another game. We're gonna go. We can we could go into this. Is it's we're gonna DM from the Holly Wire account, voice DM. Okay. Any celebrity you want. Okay. Are they, okay. gonna, are they gonna answer? They it's been 50-50. Sometimes they do, yeah. Really? Sometimes they do. It's, it's they, actually the response. Co- it's totally coming from fun. Hollywire. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so they're like, all right, let me see this. I say we do <laughs> I say I say we either do Machine Gun Kelly or Pete Davidson. Neither. Neither? I don't wanna, no. I don't wanna bother them. Okay, okay. Who, who can we do? Uh let me let me peep the phone. Let me peep the phone. Okay, I'll go through. Out. Can I talk to Britney Spears? Yes, let's do Yes. It. Britney Spears. <laughs> what do I say? She is is anyone she's a funny girl. Uh, I'm watching her Instagrams. Gal. Tell her, yeah, tell her, her Instagram. Instagrams are Instagram fire. Right going off right now. She's been posting a lot on Instagram. She's lately. so funny. Oh my god, she's posting. She, she's <laughs> posting like the same photo too, but like di- over and over just and a over and over just again. A bit she's different. like, I've been dancing a lot, so I'm really sore today. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Brit. Yeah. Classic <laughs> Brit. Uh, all right. I'll just tell her hi. Yeah, like, you say hi. So I have a T-shirt. I have a T-shirt of her. Oh, tell her that. Oh, and it actually has her profile photo on it. Oh, that's so, amazing. Yeah, that's just amazing. letting you know. That is an iconic photo. Iconic. I She's that, like, <laughs> I love that they can just put the icons like that. Can I know. Just put that is their icon. That's their. Yeah. It's wild. It's okay, awesome. I'm gonna do one. It's gonna be short and sweet. Don't. Sweet. It's not Perfect. gonna be funny. This is it's just short and sweet. Okay. All right, great. Hey, Britt. 
It's your pal Tom. Uh, just wanted to say big fan. Got a t-shirt of you. Bye. <laughs> Great. Got a t-shirt cool. of you. Yeah, got a. That's cool. awesome. DM'd her. DM'd her. Hopefully Did she it. answers. Who Who is your, like, who is, like, somebody that you really look up to in the acting world? Mm. Ooh, DiCaprio. Can we do uh, it? Let's do Leo. Okay, let's do Leo. Does he, but have, his, he have his an is Insta? Like, his is political. His is, like, um, He uses it for, like, activism. Change, like, great stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Let's do it, though. Because yeah. I'm a huge fan. Leo? Yeah. Um, he has, I've, I've partied with Leo, and he is a class act. Really? Like, oh, he really? Is like, oh, yeah. I'm um, sure. During the party? He seems it. During the party. During the party. He doesn't get That's just Leo. He I've seen get... Leo at a party, and I don't know. I, really? Yeah, Every time yeah. I've ever, he's never, he never gets too, like, drunk or anything. He's just very, like, he's he just was very cool. under wow. control. He's yeah, under yeah, control. Totally. He was wow. very under control. Good stuff. You know what I mean? During the Robert really Downey Jr. days back in the day, those were a little wild. Yeah, I don't know. I come from a different I wasn't around during those days. Okay, let's give Leo a shout out. Hey. What's up, dude? <laughs> uh, big fan of your work. You know, hopefully we can work together one day. Uh, you're the best. I love you. <laughs> Bye. You're the best. I love cool. you. I can't wait till that happens. Though. It's like a voicemail. Yeah, yeah. It is like um, a voicemail. He is my favorite. He has like the most well, you know, put together career ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's like a guy that I I look up to in terms of like shaping a career. Mm -hmm. He totally. just did it so well. It's great. He started young too, just like you. You he know, did. he did start. You really could have easily been on Growing Pains. Was it Growing Pains? <laughs> I know. Yeah, something like that. Could have been. This it could have been me. Could have happened to you. Could have been me. I don't. I don't know what I was doing. Next Titanic, starring Thomas oh. Barbuska. Not good looking enough for that. Oh, what? <laughs> Whatever. No. no, they need like a a Griffin Gluck for that. Leo oh. had like a just a certain look though to him. No, I yeah, would, I would totally. Say he's like a Brad Pitt. I totally agree. I would, uh, he's a very gorgeous fella. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when he was, yeah. He's got some, it's a feature. He's, he's got a, a feature. It's, a, it's, it's like a twinkle guy. in the eye. In twinkle, Let's yeah. not lie. DiCaprio. <laughs> okay. All right, Leo. He's You're a really good looking, looking dude. Really he's good. hot. He's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> he's a 10. <laughs> let's talk about the fans. Let's talk about, and yeah, sure. let's wrap it with the fans. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. So how do you, do, is that something that you do? Because you do have an Instagram. You do have yeah. Twitter. You do have that kind of stuff. Do you communicate with them on this? Or? Yeah. Um, my thing on that is I try to communicate with, um, you know, people who support me as much as possible because yeah. it's the right thing to do. Some people have come in here and say, Tony, stop calling them fans. They're called supporters. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what's that. politically correct. Okay. I, don't, right. I have no idea. But the people who are supporting me, yeah. I, uh, they're great. Right. You know, that's awesome. Uh, and I like that they like my stuff. It's awesome. Uh, I've n I'll never ever decline somebody who wants a picture because Aww. you know I kn I know people who like have uh -huh. and then people just grow up to hate those people and I don't want to be somebody who's like no I don't want to do pictures right you know yeah. but I'm also not at a level of fame where I get swarmed in public so I don't know you right. know what I mean um, but yeah I, I communicate as much as possible because if you know, I would want to talk to, you know, somebody I, I really liked and worked totally. up to. That'd like be cool. Leo. Well, yeah. We'd um, love to talk to Leah. <laughs> I just want to selfie. Exactly. I just want to selfie. Just, <laughs> just want to um, send tell them an me, email. What about the first time, like you just said, you're not at the level of fame where people are swarming you, but mm -hmm. I'm sure there have been times where people have come up to you and been like, yo. There have been times. What, uh, like, what's a memorable time? So one time we were when we were filming this movie, uh, I was in the mall in Syracuse. And Syracuse, amazing place, uh, doesn't have so much happening. It's not like L.A. where you see, like, a celebrity walking down the street. Right. And you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> is Oh, my God, that's Steve Aoki. <laughs> like, you just, like, <laughs> don't see that yeah. in uh, Syracuse. Um, so when we came to Syracuse, there's, like, articles about us coming there and filming there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, so people were like on the prowl in that. Syracuse. They love that. Though, yeah. I oh yeah. My I'm sure. When there was like an old, we're from Ohio, a little small town. Yeah. We had that in our. They're gonna film here. We did that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like, oh my god. Like, no, I get it. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and I went to the mall one day, and they were just kind of waiting in the mall. Oh. Mm. And I went into Zoomies or or somewhere over there, and uh, then like I saw like five people walk in, and the second they walked in, I was like, oh, okay. They're they're about to come up and say hello, so I was like, "Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, I'm Thomas. Um, you know, thank you." And then as I walked out of the store, like you know, thirty people came, and then more and more people were coming. And then this like really tall guy was like, "Hey, dude, 
I bar- <laughs> he's like, I barbecue. He's like, if you ever want me to come to the hotel and barbecue in the parking lot, what? totally up for it. And I was like, what? thank you so much. I'll take your card. I love, <laughs> love, the band. I love supporters Isn't like that. Yeah. yeah. Those it's are awesome. Best. It's yes. great. Free barbecue. Oh, oh yeah. Did you take him up on it? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I was scared. I mean, yeah, I would be too. But that's uh, <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Really oh, funny. I've, I've, I've heard like people like do uh, like they go into a college or something mm. and like the fraternity guys are like, yo, man. Come to our, our fraternity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. Works. Right. that happened in college. Like, come, we're yeah. doing a barbecue. We'd love to have you there. Yeah, it's hilarious. We'd love to have you there. That's so yeah. funny. I'd go. I'd go if I were of course. If I was yeah. a celebrity. <laughs> like, I might yeah, pop if in. he was having like a frat or like a, a, like a, like fun a party, ranger. like sure, yeah, I'd show up. Show I'd love to go. <laughs> but like to come to the parking lot of the hotel and you know, cook me up a <laughs> steak. It's like weird. I. No, it's a weird. little. It's all right. That's funny. What? Yeah, that's a great memory, though. Like, I wonder how good so Cookie good. is. He's probably really great. He's probably fantastic. He's probably if he's has offering to, to bring if he's the grill somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I know. I just <laughs> has know. to be really I good. It. It's awful. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're awesome. Thank you. You're the bomb. dot com. I'm so wow. excited for this movie. Oh, <laughs> no, thank you so like, much. I've been talking about it a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's so pumped. nice of you. Yeah. Yeah. Go see it. Great. Go see it. Okay. Bye guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.